I will tell you something crazy that happened at Home Depot last week with my mother and my boyfriend. My mother is obsessed with Home Depot. She likes to go as often as she used to go shopping. I'm like, you don't even buy clothes anymore. Now you're like, oh, I bought this great bucket. <laughs> 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 look at this bucket that I got. Oh, look at this mop. And like, it was really on into it. sale. Yeah. So she, they both came home and they had this look on their faces and they're like, you're never going to believe what happened. I'm like, okay, this has got to be good because nothing shakes either one of them. They both said in all the years they've both been shopping in stores, not just Home Depot, but like grocery stores, any single store that has a cart. This has never happened. They said that they were filling up their cart with stuff and then they walked to another aisle to, they just left the cart there because it was like cumbersome. They just went to the next aisle to like, my mother asked my boyfriend to help her pull something down off a shelf. Mm -hmm. They came back and their cart was gone. Mm Mm-hmm. Another customer stole their cart, Mm -hmm. but not stole it. Like, literally just started putting his own stuff in there and was just walking around. It's like, wait a second. There's no way that you're buying the exact same stuff as we are. So... And they, and their cart was totally full. It was full of so much stuff. It's not like it's not like they just got the cart and had like one thing in it and the guy mm-hmm. didn't care. The car, they were literally about to leave. And they couldn't find the cart and they couldn't find what happened to it. They got a new cart and they started rebuying everything they just bought. And this guy, they see this guy just pushing their cart, just walking and they're like, "Um, that's our cart." And the guy's like, "Oh, yeah, this isn't my stuff." It's like, what you didn't, you've been, what? How do you not realize that you've been walking around shopping and nothing in this cart is anything you came for? Nothing in this cart is your stuff. How do you not know that? That must be a New York thing because that drives me nuts when you would do that. You would leave your cart and walk down an aisle and just leave it. Well, carts are really cumbersome. You know, you're going up and down, up and down. It's it, I find it's much quicker on foot. So I leave the cart no, you... and I shop and I bring things back to the cart rather than the, I, I, I don't bring the cart to the stuff. No, I it's, bring the stuff to the cart. It's like your luggage at the airport. You can't leave it out of your sight. You have to be with it at all times. That's it's why not it the has, same thing. It no, is the a, same thing. No, because no, the luggage is already yours. That's your stuff. You don't want it stolen. If somebody reaches in my cart and takes out a can of Campbell's soup, you no, know, I'll go just go get another one. What do I care? Because then you're going to have to go get another one, and it's going to take so much more time because you spent all this time getting the stuff you want. Somebody can steal it. So don't don't walk away from it. You walk away from your cart. That should all be the against time. the law. They the, the people that work there are now going to take the cart and put things back and think that you just walked away. Because I wonder how many people take a cart and then realize they don't have their wallet or their purse or whatever and just leave the cart and walk out. They get that all the time. What I do is like if I'm going to get vegetables and fruit, I mean, I go to a supermarket, you got to weigh everything yourself. You got to get like the either the sticker or you got to scan it on your phone yourself because there's no one there anymore. You got to do all that stuff yourself. So I'm not going to take the cart to the tomatoes and take the cart to the potatoes or whatever. I'm going to leave the cart, go get all my fruit and vegetables. <laughs> And then when I go to the scanner thing, then I bring my cart over because as I scan, I put it in the cart, scan, put it in the cart. So much easier like that. But I'm not going to. It's so cumbersome to bring the cart over like for a cucumber. Seems stupid. Mm -hmm. That's why you can pull the cart right up to the cucumbers. It's not like (laughs) you you can't. There's an aisle. They can bring the cart right up to it, but it's keep going. But you do that. So if somebody steals your cart like your mom and your boyfriend, that's what they get. It's on them. <laughs> it's on them because it's like luggage. Don't leave it. Have Has anybody been in possession of your luggage, sir, before? <laughs> and, and then you say no because I don't know. But you, you have no idea with the cart because you walked away. And now I want to go down that aisle, and I can't go down that aisle because your cart is in my way. stupid cart is there blocking the aisle. That's true. Yeah. How many times did I videotape myself slamming my <laughs> cart into your cart because it was always in my way? You love that. That was your favorite game. <laughs> I would leave my cart in yeah. one aisle and go to... Because, you know, I'll tell you why. I'd be in an aisle and I'd buy a bunch of heavy stuff and then I'd be like, oh, I forgot this one thing. So I would leave the cart, which was heavy, 
Why do I? Why should I push a heavy cart? And and it's strenuous. Why should I strain myself just to run and get like one little can of tuna? You're one person. You don't have that much heavy stuff in your cart. <laughs> <laughs> I buy for a family of twelve, so <laughs> I have a lot of stuff in the cart. You have one person that you're no, buying but for. i eat like i'm a family of 12 <laughs> that's true but you don't have that much <laughs> you don't have that much in a cart that it's going to be a I pain do. in the ass to, to, no you i don't. do my boyfriend drinks soda i drink water we've all those big heavy <laughs> bottles we've you know the dog the i dog can go food. to Costco and, and and have everything in bulk and still push that cart oh i couldn't Costco. Costco is the problem i leave my cart in costco all the time oh the aisle it's and then that's the thing the new york aisles are, are three Tiny. times smaller than everywhere else yeah so your cart is always in somebody's way it's a hazard yeah, yeah somebody it's definitely it's, it. it's a fire hazard yeah thanks if there's ever a fire in any of the stores i go to make sure i'm not there <sighs>